Hello people of YouTube, this is Cosmic Gamer 907 Welcome to episode 5 of F1 2012 Season Challenge um, Thanks for sticking with us um, If you've been here throughout the whole series Thank you for sticking with me uh, If this is just your first one uh, There's 2012 Season Challenge in the description bar below down there And 2013 playlist as well So you can get up to speed very very quickly And Hello, Sean. Peace out. This is my video. Sorry about that. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, this is 2013 season challenge. So hopefully you enjoy it. Um, this is all about, as you saw at the end of the episode, episode four. Um, I was given a contract offer by Salba. And I hadn't decided whether I was going to take it up or not. So in this one, you will find out whether I've taken an offer or not. So, enjoy. Alright, after that little break, we are back and... We're now going to find out whether I have uh, taken up their offer. So uh, here goes. Did I take up Salva's offer? We'll find out. And by that you can see I have accepted their offer by that little thing there. And also what you saw previously, I have taken them up. So I will be driving for Salba in the Fantasy Races of 2013 Season Challenge. Um, I'm absolutely well, really look, ecstatic. Um, first race from the looks of it is you, I think it's South Korea. Track. Here we go. Korea International Circuit in the Salba. Because I've been Nico Hulkenberg in the last two races, I've got to see that's how the rival challenge works. Um, if you've been watching every single video I've done on this, you know you'll know it. Now So what setup? Um, I'm just going to pause and see what the track's doing. So the track's bone dry. So we're going to go for moderate levels of downforce. So it gives me good speed and stability. Also, it will work in changeable conditions. The other option is go that, but that's too low for downforce. So it would affect me in the corners. So I don't really want that. Uh, yeah, unpredictable cornering. You know, increased top speeds, um, corner speeds could suffer. Uh, that is kind of like the gamble with this. And increased top speeds. So, I think if we go with the penultimate setup in terms of high speed, that will probably work out. So, here we go. I'm really excited to see how much hand compared this is a Toro Rosso. Talking about four races to get the end of this Toro Rosso, but hopefully we can do it straight away with the Salva. Here it goes. DRS. A little bit tentative. Ran a bit wide. Should come out there. That's always a tricky corner. That's the DRS line. I'm going down the straight now. Full speed, 192, going to be pretty sure 200 miles an hour. Kisses the apex perfectly there. And again, fell with the traction. The red has got the traction, you can see. Just above my time is my target position, which is 8th. Feel the vibration from the pad of the tyres. Mm -hmm. 
change the brakes to the front that may actually help me through the course of the middle part of the lap and I've run a bit wide there. I'm going to take so much spin to this corner. Oh, I've, I've gone in too wide there. Again, ran it wide. I've lost the further six tenths, so. We're just off the pace, 11th place. Yeah, middle sector was always going to be the curse. He's crossing the line now. I'm going to end up... Oh, 11. Not... Ah, oh, I'm so disappointed at 1.9 seconds, but I was ahead of my teammate by a good four attempts. Um, makes me take a position by six tenths of a second. So yeah, that middle sector, the middle sector where I was breaking late and just running wide in the other corner there, it cost me. Um, but I'm actually pretty impressed with the, the lap as a, I think the first sector was alright, so I was only six times off. So if I'd stayed with that, I would have probably been third row. But I think with the other six times that I lost and a bit more on the final sector, if I'd not lost that much in the last sector, I would have probably hit my target position. But these things happen, so I'm 11th. It's not great, it's not bad, but um, hopefully we can do better in the race. So here goes. Right then, after that awkward thing we engineered, we are now ready to go. Super soft. Tires five laps as is the norm for this. With no more rival challenges this season, drivers will be concentrating on their point scoring chances. Let's see how they do. I've actually forgotten where in the championship I am. So here we go. Eighth is the target. Can we get there and if not beat it? So in last two races, fourth was the highest. Oh, take the back of the Lotus. I've done a little bit of cut back. And I've reached my type position already. Rosberg's had a shocker. I've been pushed a bit wide. Up into 7th already. So I think I've mainly set it up for the start, finish straight, and this straight. Are we going to be having a look at some? Yes, we are. Down to. Oh! That was Weber. Forced him a bit wide. And we are up into 4th already. See Button and Weber having a go at each other there behind us. Button's going to think about it. So, well, so obviously, from the looks of it, Hamilton's leading. Alonso's second, and then you've got Vettel in third. I'm fourth from 11th. So, pretty good start for me. Oh, bit of oversteer there. Look behind. There's a gap developing, and oh, back of the car is had to step out. Took too much of that curb, which is uh, not what you want ideally. 1.8 to Vettel.
for the vibrations on the pad is absolute torture. Using the curse. 2.2 to Vettel, 1.1 to Button, so Brun's closing in. Coming out onto the straight here. And I think what we're going to do is, we're going to go rear on brakes just to see if that helps us in this middle sector. Because this could be... Ooh, that's not going well at all. Right, okay, bugger it. No, we're not going with front either. Because they're getting neutral on brakes. I've been really wide there. And now I've just those buttons a second behind. There he is. And I think those three, they're just going to disappear off into the distance. Okay, so let's see, what is the gap going to be? As I'm making up my own circuit, I've run a flying, it was too quick. 2.8. I want to say that was the same as before, but I don't think it was. It's looking like this could be a finished position. We're already on lap two. About to come over for lap three. Yeah, those two are gone. They got nothing on me. Too. Luckily, button is not in my DRS zone, so I'm okay. Can switch to front. See the gap I've got. Let's check out the state of the tyres. Tyres look okay. Obviously, can't use fuel because it's only like five laps, so I'm stuck with the standard. 3.4, it's now 3.1. Ooh, you can hear those tyres screeching, that is bad. Took a bit of a wide line going through there. Well, it could all come undone if I could just keep it together here. You have a two second gap to the car. Oh, behind, just a little bit wide. Get a chance to overtake. Middle sector. I've just done a purple middle sector 2.6. Where did that come from? It's a little bit too much wide there. All my curves over the line. 45 1. Don't think that's quite the fastest lap. 2.9. So, if I keep it together in the second sector, just improve the last sector, I could be with him. But lap 4 5, I don't think I'm going to get third. I think this is where I'm going to be ending up. I might have closed in a bit here. What's the gap? Two seconds. Hampton's curves and exit because the Red Bull's got so much great traction because of the chassis. Oh my god, out! Oh, oh, damn it. That's going to have ruined my tyres. It 
was two seconds. Ah, uh, that's probably cost me at least half a second. One is my current lap and 45-0. So not doing too bad. Breaking hard. Oh. I really am pushing this car now. It's just been about keeping in touch with him, so I I don't think I'll get third. I think fourth will be where I'm finishing. Been a race, to race to be honest. Um, yeah, my tires were for wearing it. Yeah, yeah cheers, engineer. Thanks for that. Back end stepping out. Right, let's change it back to neutral. Fuck it. Yeah, I've just made my own line there. Hamilton's going to win, Alonso's going to be second, Vettel's going to be third, I'm going to be finishing in fourth place. Great result actually, um, the teammate was 12, I was fourth and I started one place ahead of him, so um, yeah, not all bad. Five and a half seconds off, uh, I was... Yeah, I was about three summer seconds off in the end. Um, not bad actually. 45 0. Um, four fastest car. So that was quite good to see 45 0. It's only. A... <laughs> oh wow. In terms of fastest laps, there was two tenths of a second covering us four in terms of fastest laps. So that's pretty impressive. Um, yeah, what's up done for me in the championship? Uh, I am currently 7th in the championship. Uh, I'm 12 points behind Weber. So, I think this last race... Um, I could finish 6th. It's a big, it's a massive, massive thing. Uh, we'll just have to see how it goes. Uh, my teammate is down there, he's got no points. The reason why you see me with all those points is... Once you beat a rival and you take their place in the opposite team, all the points which you've gained from the previous team you were in, you get with your new team. And that's how it works. So, looking at the constructors, my team, Salba. Hang on, are they right? I've got 56 points in the World Championship. I should be further up than that. Saint Salva's got 26. Whoa, that's a major thing. What is that about? Hmm. Yeah, that's a bit weird. So even though I've got 56 points, Salva I've only got 26. Hang on a minute. So Taros has still got the points that I actually scored, even though I keep him as Okay, that's that's Cody's Cody's, come on, sort it out. So we're gonna to go to emails and it's gonna be sunny for the final race, which is in Brazil. 
which more often than not I tend to actually go well in Brazil 756 points difficulties medium and 12 what is a 14 point difference between myself Weber and Jensen so I could possibly beat Weber and finish six in the championship or I can end up losing so we'll just see how it goes um this is on with uh Brazil, the most trickiest corner is turn one because that's the key to the whole lap. You run wide there and you, your whole lap's screwed. So, let's quickly go through my season challenge statistics. Only once have I finished outside, I've had 14 podiums. <laughs> no clean races at all. Oh, that's not good. 36 laps in the lead. The the I'm 33 the Grand Prix of season challenge. I don't know how that works. I think I actually did one because he didn't record, so. Cheers, Crofty. Right. Um. Right, let's go just slightly increase my top speed. Um, let's go with it. So if you're medium and you're hard tyre, but we're only going to need the medium. The super softs wouldn't be that good. Oh, and I've slightly gone wide. Bugging up my lap. I got oversteer mid corner. 1.2 seconds. Can I claw any of it back in the middle sector? Be a lot closer here. Slamming on the brakes. Oh, I just missed the apex. Really need to get on the power. Car starting to step out. Going from Young Cow. Oh, it's been scruffy into the lap. I'm not happy with myself. That's 11th place. Not the best of days for us. Unlucky. Going over the line. Oh, 11th again. Oh my god, how ironic is that? Look at that. My teammate and Grosjean are in the same place. Button is 8th. Weber is 7th. Oh, where did it all go wrong? I ended up doing a 16 2, 1.1. Um, I think things. I caught it back in the middle sector because I was like. I think it was like I was eight times off, and um, I mean, he was six times off the one sector. I was clawing it back in the middle, and then I just ran wide coming out of Young, going into so the, the, the Largo, I think it is. Um, the kind of like the penultimate corner or last corner, which was the corner where Lewis Hamilton won his first world championship, 2008. Um, yeah, and I just went in too deep. Um, Got on the curb, got on the grass, and that was it. So, <sighs> gotta go for my lump again. Hopefully, um, it can be slightly better than fourth. I really want to round off the season challenge with either a win or a place on the podium. Here we go. It's the end of the 2013 season challenge. Brazilian Grand Prix. Can we round it off with a win? Let's find out.
With the Drivers' World Championship already decided, drivers will be looking to maximise their points. Last time I did the season challenge at the end, I was fighting for the World Championship. That was 2012. Uh, this one is. I'm just looking to finish ahead of Weber. I think in order to beat Weber, I've got to finish top two. That's what I'm looking at. And I'm using the case straight away off the line. We're side by side with Grosjean. Oh my god, this is going to be catastrophically bad. Trying to go between two McLarens. Oh, and I've hit Massa and Raikkonen's there on my outside. Got a bit of oversteer. And Weber's gone round my... Oh my god. I went to like six and I've gone back down to nine. Jensen's there. Massa's still on my outside. Up into six. This is the that was behind me now. So up in the six. Oh, that's a dive bomb of ages. And Vettel is fourth. So Alonso leaves the two Mercedes. Then it's Vettel. Vettel! Oh, I went for a dive bomb. I went for a move that was not on. But there was a gap, and you know what I'm saying. If you no longer go for a gap, you're no longer a racing driver. And I went for the gap, and it was just not on. I've got to see if we can catch him. straight now towards turn three. I don't even know half the corners on this circuit. Keeping at 2.2. I think this is middle sector where I do gain time. But because it's the Red Bull, how much will I actually gain? God, I took shit loads of speed in there. Sectors. That's where I gain the time on them. Because Weber's nowhere. 14 6. 1.3. One lot 3 of 5. And I've got DRS. I've just, and I did the fastest lap of the race. Oh, unbelievable scenes. Purple first sector. One second behind. I tell you what, guys. I think a podium is possible. I thought about the late lunge on Vettel. Thought about it. Great move, great move. Took a wider line in just to straighten it up. And I'm going to go for the dive for one Vettel. Have I got him? He's going to come back. Is he? No, I've got him. I'm up into fourth. Now. Purple there. Come on, you absolute animal of a salva. Come on, Rosberg. Give me your DRS. I've got the DRS. Oh, well, I went in too deep. Mer, bit of a meme. Lap 4 or 5. The podium is within reach. Seven tenths of a second away. It's this middle sector. Bit more 
blockers. Hard on the pads, isn't it? It's a good line. In fact, I've got a great line. I can see Alonso and Hamilton ahead of them. I saved half of the curves, and I tell you what, boys, third place is on. Third place is on. Come on, give me the DRS. I've got the DRS. I'm going for it. I'm into third place. Break hard, break hard, break hard. Don't lose it. We're on to that five of five, surely. Oh, I don't have any, I don't have the DRS on those two. Oh shit, Ross has got DRS on me. No, you are not coming through, Nico. One and a half seconds. If I somehow get second on this last lap, I'm an absolute animal. Now into the middle sector. There's a bit of a twitch there from Hamilton. I've got a twitch as well. I've used just a smidge of curves. Oh my god, this is squeaky bum time. Purple. Four attempts. Oh my god, I don't think I want to do it. No, I'm not. But I'll finish third. My last race, season challenge. I finished third from 11th. Wow. What a drive. I was seven tenths away from winning. Half a second of Hamilton. Wow. 46, fastest lap of the race. 15 points. Weber only got eight. So well, that's going to be close between me, me and Weber. Uh, the Drivers' Championship. I finished five points off Mark Weber. Oh my God, how close is that? <sighs> so yeah, that is um, end of F1 22. 13 season challenge um, I hope you have thoroughly enjoyed it um, it's been a complete up and down ride um, lost several rival challenges only beat the one that mattered at the end which was Hulkenberg um, yeah so I'm pretty pleased with how that last race went always knew Brazil would be kind of a circuit which I'm, which I'm good at and that's the case um, so yeah, thanks to everyone for what for enjoying the highs and lows of 2013 season challenge. It took me about four weeks to get used to the Toro Rosso. When I did get used to it, I had a chance at Salba, and as you've seen, I took the chance with Salba. And obviously, in season challenge, I was a world championship. And that is it. So. Thank you very much for everyone watching. Don't forget to like, comment, or even subscribe to the channel, Cosplay Gamer 907. Um, see above, you can go via Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, follow me all on there. And um, thank you very much. So I will probably see you in whatever next F1 video that is. So till then, goodbye.